in the next few series here on the vegan lifestyle as we continue to focus on meatless main we want to look at the importance of reform join me in the book of numbers and that's numbers chapter 11 verses 4 through 6 notice these words and the mixed multitude that was among them that was among the israelites in the wilderness fell a lusting and the children of israel also wept again and said who shall give us flesh to eat we remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt freely, the cucumbers and the melons and the leeks and the onions and the garlic. But now our soul is dried away. There is nothing at all beside this manner before our eyes. Why is the first part of our series and so the reason for reform. So you see here that evidently God had the children of Israel and the mixed multitude that was with them on his strict diet, manna and water. But their souls were crying out for flesh. You read the words. They wanted more than what God was giving them. So in other words, they were complaining against God's choice for them. God, who designed your bodies, knew what was best for them. The manner in and of itself supplied all the nutrients that they would need. But they had a hunger, they had a craving for flesh, and they would not be satisfied until they got it. In fact, because God is a good God, he allowed them to have what they wanted. And as you would read later on, a whole month passed and they had nothing but quails to eat until there was a plague because of the diet choice. Friends, why? Because as you can see clearly, God intended for them to go back to a diet that did not include flesh in it. Friends, understand that what was to take place in the future the ceremonial system with the Passover and the sacrifice of the lambs, that was to be the only period when flesh would have been included in the diet. God was teaching his people, the newly freed slaves, God was seeking at least to teach them to return to a simpler diet. Notice their words, friends, and that's a study for another day on another platform. But notice that they said that we ate freely. How could you be a slave? and eat freely. You see what I mean? So, rather than be appreciative of what God was doing, they complained. They wanted to retreat back to the old lifestyle. And many people, rather than seeking to advance in our modern day, they want to do the same thing. They want to adopt the diet of Egypt and Babylon, when, as God's people, we are called to a higher standard. We need to do better. And so, as this week unfolds, I pray that you will join me in these short discourses and look to the description area for more comprehensive resources.